Good evening. Welcome to the Senior Ring Liturgy for Brother Martin High School Class of 2021. Even though we started school two weeks ago, tonight we come together as a class for the first time this school year to celebrate the continuation of a journey that will complete our high school experience. Tonight, we come together all in one place together, filled with the spirit of God and the educational spirit of the Brothers of the Sacred Heart, an institute which celebrates its 200th anniversary this coming up year, represented by the banner on the altar. This liturgy, we also welcome our families who are with us in spirit, but gathered at home watching. Our celebrant is Father Paul Hart, chaplain of Brother Martin and alumnus of Brother Martin's first graduation class in 1970. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, we're here to not only bless rings, but to bless those who wear them, and those who have been behind the scenes to give life to these great young men. May Almighty God bless these symbols of love and success. With pride, we bless them together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us pray on this 22nd. Let us pray that this microphone works on this 22nd Sunday in ordinary time. God of might, 
giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good and by your watchful care keep safe what you have nurtured through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us now be seated and listen to the word of God. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. You duped me, O Lord, and I let myself be duped. You were too strong for me, and you triumphed. All the day, I am object of laughter. Everyone mocks me. Whenever I speak, I must cry out. Violence and outrage is my message. The word of the Lord has brought me derision and reproach all day. I say to myself, I will not mention him. I will not speak in his name no more. But then it becomes like fire burning in my heart, imprisoned in my bones. I grow weary holding it in. I cannot endure it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thus have I gazed towards you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. My soul is thirsting for you. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. As with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied. And with exultant lips, my mouth shall praise you. My soul is thirsting for you. The shadow of your wings I shout for joy. My soul clings fast to you. Your right hand upholds me. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may discern 
what is the will of God, what is good and pleasing and perfect. The word of the Lord. Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly from the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed on the third day to be raised. Then Peter took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. God forbid, Lord, no such thing shall happen to you. He turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle to me. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels and his Father's glory, and then he will repay according to his conduct. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Please be seated. I have a story for you all this afternoon that is absolutely true, except for a few things that I will change to embellish the story to get the point across to each and every one of you, because that's how important you all are. A true story. There was a young lady who went to a local high school and couldn't wait to get to her senior year. All of those years, she would watch the other seniors parade their rings around as a sign of strength and seniority. And finally, her day came. She received the ring, and she couldn't wait to show her parents very important to her because they had always given her the affirmation and the confidence that she would need. Good student, not a great one, but a good one. She received her ring before Labor Day, and then went on a little vacation to Destiny. She had the ring on showing everybody, all of her friends. And she was excited about being there for this really short vacation, and she decides that she's going to go into the water and forgot to take her ring off. She loses the ring. She starts looking around it feverishly to see if she can find that ring because she did not want to break the news to her parents that it was gone. A ring so important to her and her identity because if she had to go back and go to school without her ring, the rest of the students might think that she's a junior, or even worse, a sophomore. As fate would have it, incredible, 
a miracle of all miracles. She gets a call two weeks later from a person who was from New Orleans who had moved to the Destin area and was out on the beach and picked up the ring and noticed the initials and where the school was from and her year. She took a picture of it and contacted the high school to say, we have found this young lady's ring. They hadn't even started to order her a new one. Now, what a miracle that is because she was, be, she was able to take it home again and show her parents that there is a God and that she wanted to take care of that ring for all sorts of reasons, symbolic as it is. It was a gift. It was a sign of pride. And when she would look at the ring, she would think about all of the things that would happen in her life in the past that pushed her to want to get into this high school, just like you like all of you, you're going to put that ring on. And when you just look at the ring, it's just a ring. But when you put it on your finger, it becomes your decoration. It fits. It gives you purpose. It makes you look good. But there's more to it than just a ring. When I received my senior ring right here in this gym, I can remember I was so proud and kept on looking at it, stupid enough to take it off of my finger and spin it on my desk, which I got in trouble for. And then I saw a sense of God, that that gift from God meant so much. It helped me to realize that there is a stronger power, the giver of the gifts that we need to depend on, just like that young lady. Today is your day, and you'll put that ring on. And if you have an uncle's or a grandfather's and it has St. Aloysius or Coyezu, that's still Brother Martin. That's our tradition. It's a part of being here at this school where we wear our pride and we show people that we can be the light and darkness. You are going to be role models. They're going to be kids. They're going to be looking up to you. They're going to wish that they one day would be able to be where you are. The M on your ring is important. We know that it stands for Brother Martin. We know that. You might even think that that M stands for being mine, and it is. But then again, it's not. It's ours. It's your family. It's your friends. But may I suggest today that that M on your ring should be kind of a meaningful kind of thing for a memorial, a memory of all of the people that helped you to get here today, that we remember the teachers, the coaches, your parents, your friends, your relatives, something that you can share with, and you have the rest of the year to wear it and to build on your success with the help of God. Our readings are so perfect for you guys on this 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Listen to the second one. Gentlemen, you've learned many, many lessons of English and math and geography and all of that which entails high school. But what you've learned and what you will continue to learn is that we're limited and that we have opinions and that things are happening in the world, but St. Paul gives the advice to us all. Be your own person. Do not conform yourselves to this age. And listen to this part. And be transformed by the renewal of your mind that you may discern what is the will of God. That is the only way that you can take care of yourselves when there's nobody else around. Parents, teachers, or coaches. What is the will of God and how does it accentuate my success and my desire to move past this point? this point of departure. That's why Jesus in the gospel today is still schooling Peter. Peter says, this will never happen to you. And Jesus gets a little upset. and He says, get behind me, Satan. You're getting in the way. The plan of salvation, of forgiveness of sins, and being able to express our love is way more important than you trying to be a tough guy. Jesus tells the disciples, as we all have learned, 
whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. This is what education is, my brothers. Sacrificing and denying those free moments so that you can take care of yourselves and soak up as much as you can so that when you do leave, Brother Martin, you will remember the people that got you there and you will be ready, prepared for anything and for everything. We pick up our crosses all of the time and we might complain about them, but we deny ourselves so much so that one day we can achieve the goal, whatever it is you might want to be. Please take care of yourselves with faith in God and live the symbolism of your ring, which is achievement, respect, being an example, a reward, so to speak. It means wisdom seeking more wisdom. It is a symbol of family love. It is pride in yourself and in your school. And we need that today more than ever, to be able to stand tall and say, I am a senior at Brother Martin High School, and I love it. As tough as it might be, I enjoyed my time here. When you put on that ring, make sure you don't lose it. Make sure you don't lose the meaning. You may not lose your ring in life, but I beg you, please make sure you do not lose your souls and your thoughts and your creativity. This year, the class of 2021 will be a year of resurrection. I guarantee it. We are suffering, but we will step forward with the help of God to find peace. So I'm with you. So we're all of these people all of these great teachers who went to this extent to try to live the rules, the state of Louisiana and schools and CDC and all of the other stuff, to prepare this moment and what you can think about all of those who wanted to be here but can't. So all of you parents and family and friends at home, thank you for the gifts of these young men. They are our future. And man, our future is in great hands. God bless you, and be assured of my prayers for each and every one of you. Let us stand now and go to our loving God with all of our prayers and our petitions. Who's doing these? Who's doing these petitions? Please respond to the following petitions. Amator Coriezu, Amator Cormarie. For Pope Francis, Archbishop Gregory Amen, and all people of faith, that they continue to embrace a spirituality of love characterized by caring for the poor and the marginalized in our world today, we pray to the Lord. Amator Coriezu, Amator Cormarie. For the Brothers of the Sacred Heart and their partners in mission, that they build a spirit of community characterized by compassion accountability, and religious values. We pray to the Lord. Amator Coriezu, Amator Cormaria. For the class of 2021, as they begin their last year at Brother Martin High School, they stay strong in their faith and continue to rely on the power of prayer as they strive to meet the needs of a changing world. We pray to the Lord. Amator Coriezu, Amator Cormaria. For the Brother Martin faculty, staff, and administration, that they continue to be an influence in the formation of our students by assisting in the spiritual growth, their moral development, and their social awareness. We pray to the Lord. Amator Coriezu, Amator Cormarian. For the poor and neglected, those afflicted with illness or sorrow, and those affected by Hurricane Laura, that they may experience the joy of God's mercy, consolation, and forgiveness. We pray to the Lord. Amator Coriezu, Amator Cormarian. 
We silently pray for our own personal needs now. We pray to the Lord. Amei to work for Jesus. Amei to work for Maria. Gentlemen, if you will pray the school prayer, which is in the back of your programs, if you'll pick those up now. Together we pray. Loving and forgiving God, we thank you for the charism of Andre Quandra, the selfless service of the Brothers of the Sacred Heart, and the sanctuary that is Brother Martin High School. Please continue to bless us with leaders, teachers, and students, with wisdom and compassion, to love us and form us, challenge us and inspire us, enlighten our minds, sanctify our hearts, strengthen our wills, Embrace us with courage and trust to meet the needs of our changing world. We ask all of this through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Ameter Kor Yezu, Ameter Kor Maria. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you gave to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ 
the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy, missionaries, teachers, and brothers of the Sacred Heart. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, bless Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, but not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. From a distance, let us now offer each other a sign of peace. Sins of the world, have mercy. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed to those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will now we will have our final blessing at the end. I ask, gentlemen, that you please be seated as we prepare to distribute the rain. Good afternoon, gentlemen. A popular writer once gave a commencement speech at a small college, and he began his address with a short parable. He started by telling the onlooking sea of graduates this. There are these two young fish swimming, and they happen to meet an older fish swimming the other way who nods at them and says, good morning, boys. How's the water? And the two young fish swim on for a bit. And then eventually, one of them looks over at the other young fish and says, what the heck is water? The point of the story, as explained that day by the writer, is that our reality is all around us. We're surrounded by it. And oftentimes, it is hidden in plain sight until it's not. The water represents all of the things we take for granted until we don't. Maybe we stop taking these things for granted because they've been taken away from us, or their availability is at risk, or has been temporarily suspended or maybe because there is no end in sight, or we can't see the light at the end of the tunnel in our current situation. Now imagine the following. It's the year 1815 on a freezing winter afternoon in Lyon, France, a city and a country ravaged by the damage brought about by the French Revolution. Streets are filled with young people boys and girls who are homeless, orphaned, 
and abandoned. A young priest, 28 years old, 10 years older than yourselves, stops in front of a church where he finds two girls under the age of four. After asking the girls why they're huddled in the alcove of the church alone, only to find out that they are among those who have been abandoned, he takes the two children, one by the hand and the other in his arms, not knowing in that moment exactly what he can do for them, before eventually bringing them to a dear friend of his, a nun who lived by, nearby. The priest, of course, is Father Andre Quandre, the founder of the Brothers of the Sacred Heart, and his friend, St. Claudine Tevenet. Now ask yourselves this. How many men and women on their way home or tending to their affairs hurried by without seeing or without taking notice of the two young girls before Father Andre Quandre finally stopped? How many instances, days, even weeks may have passed before Quandre himself took notice, was moved with compassion, and acted by taking the two girls in his arms? In just one moment in time, Andre Quandre realized he was in water and then he acted. That moment in time, that move to action, eventually led to the foundation of the Brothers of the Sacred Heart nearly 200 years ago. Now ask yourselves this, how much water will we swim through before we realize our own reality, a reality perhaps hiding right in front of us in plain sight. Now imagine what is possible in our life, in our reality, if we acknowledge our reality and act like Quandra did with compassion, with sensitivity, with hope, with courage, trust, or whatever the situation calls for. Before COVID-19 became a part of our everyday language and conversation, perhaps none of us in this church knew what water truly was. Maybe we were just like those two young fish, but not now. Not after five months of virtual learning, Zoom meetings and school G conferences, masks, buffs, social distancing, physical distancing, quarantining, and self-isolation. Our reality is abundantly clear. The water is all around us. There are two young orphan girls standing in our midst, waiting to be helped. Our reality is one filled with opportunity. We are better positioned to act today than Andre Quandra because of Andre Quandra, who ultimately built an institution that will celebrate its bicentennial in 2021. In the early years of the Institute of the Brothers of the Sacred Heart, the Institute nearly collapsed. Like a classic tale ripped from the script of a Disney story, Vincent, the brother of Andre Quandra, nearly ran the Institute into the ground after a number of bungled decisions and squandered opportunities. And if not for the venerable Brother Polycarp, we, not, we might not be sitting here as a Brother Martin High School community. We talk about Brother Polycarp, but not as much as we should, not as often as we invoke Andre Quandra. For his efforts in saving the institution, Polycarp is referred to as the second founder. He acted with conviction, with courage and trust and faith. We are better positioned to act today than Polycarp was because of Brother Polycarp. Your senior ring represents an opportunity. Despite the obstacles that stand in our way, you're fortunate. We're all fortunate. You are all needed. You are Quandra and Tevene and Polycarp and Martin Hernandez. You're a senior at Brother Martin 
and in less than nine months, you will forever be an alum. You have an opportunity. So who will be better positioned than you because of you? How will you make your opportunity a reality? How will you make the opportunity for the student sitting in your seat 50, 150, 200 years from now a reality? How will you act with compassion, conviction, courage, and trust? And how will you know when your moment has arrived? Brother Neil Golden, a current faculty member who taught many of you, tells a story about Brother Martin the Man that he says typifies our school's namesake. The story goes like this. One day, when basketball coach M.L. Lagarde was coaching basketball at St. Aloysius, he got a phone call at school from Brother Martin. ML barked Brother Martin into the phone. I want you to find the dirtiest basketball in the gym and bring it to me here in my office. When the ball was brought in, Brother Martin handed it to a salesman who was trying to sell the school a cleaning fluid. And Brother Martin told him to get the ball clean. After scrubbing for 30 minutes, as the story goes, the salesman told Brother Martin he just could not get the ball clean. It was too dirty. Brother Martin replied, well, your product does not do what you say it can, so we won't buy it. Never say you can do something for sure unless you are certain. So don't let the dirt or the water be an obstacle you can't overcome or even take notice of. Don't allow our reality to stand in your way. Our reality is your opportunity. Take Brother Martin Hernandez's advice. Never say you can do something for sure unless you are certain. So, be certain. Act with courage and trust and certainty. Acknowledge the water and the dirt, all of the challenges that color your reality. Then, act. Take the two abandoned girls, build an institute, save it. Pave the way for those who will sit here next. Your opportunity is now. Gentlemen, at this time, we will begin the distribution of your Brother Martin rings. As the class of 2021 processes near the altar, I ask you turn your attention to page three of tonight's program, where you will find a description of the Brother Martin senior ring. For families watching at home, your son will leave tonight's ceremony with tonight's program so that you can read the description of the Brother Martin Ring as well. Members of the class of 2021, please come forward when your name is called. Tyler Adams. Jason Arena.
Matthew Armbruster. Jonathan Othamant. Peter Beyer. Layden Batson. Connor Beaudry. Blake Becknell. Jordan Benjamin. Michael Berrigan. Braden Bertucci. Colin Blackwell. Ethan Blow. Garrett Banura. Chandler Bonvillian. George Bordenave the third. Riley Boudreau. Brandon Berg. Adam Bourgeois. Benjamin Bourgeois. Logan Bourgeois. John Braham. Mason Brannan. Blake Bridavo. Joshua Brienne.
Dexter Brooks. Avery Broussard the fourth. Kobe Brown. Brendan Buras. Saul Canizales. Jonathan Correas. Andrew Carlini. Patrick Carter. Cameron Casara. Ethan Castex. Owen Catalanado. Ali Kavdar. Noah Sashery. Cole Chauvin. William Confident. Chase Cookmeyer. Dominic Cortello. Benjamin Corvers. Connor Corrett. Colin Cruz. Colin Cruz. Cameron Cummings.
Sean Michael Kershain Jr. Artem Eos Dagoglu. Tyler Damaray. Jacob Danton. Yasin Darwish. Jake Dean. Evan DeCastro. Byron Dayday. Mark Delahousse. Grant DeLord. Dennis Dylan Coffer, Jr. Anthony DiLorenzo. John DiMaggio, Jr. Francis DeSalvo. Cameron Dunwar. Austin Engel. Benjamin Erdazain. Cody Estrada. Logan Farrell. Camilo Fernandez Bellerin.
William Flores. Blake False. Jake Freno. Cody Frugia. Matthew Galloway. Arturo Garcia. Victor Garcia. Eric Gardebled. Colin Gardner. Drew Gardner. Nicholas Godet. Tyler Gelvin. Kyle Gleason. Dwayne Greff. Ryan Grubb. Joseph Grossamon. Aiden Hobb. Bernard Harris. Mark Hastings. Austin Abair. Grant Abair. Rex Hernandez. Owen Herling.
Eli Hope. Andre Hoyella. Gianni Huerta. Spencer Hyde. Chase Hemel. Ethan Jeans. Tyler Johnson. Samuel Jordan. Hugh Cavanaugh. Mason Keen. Wesley Kelly. Carson Kinnear. Caleb Kenny. Carter Kerrigan. Jacob Kinberger. Nicholas Connect. Matthew Labe. Michael Lacurge. Gregory Lambier. Ryan Laurent. Jack Lavania. Luke Lemon.
Nicholas Lemoyne. Patrick Leonard. Christopher Lindner. Andrew Lyon. Nicholas Lacasio. Raymond Labrano the third. Cole Mayer. Jacob Mandela. Warren Martin the third. Darren Martino. Thomas McIntyre Day. Frank McKevitt the Fourth. Gordon Meese. Nicholas Milano. Bryce Mepro. Richard Molinar. Brennan Malero. Cody Morris. Jordan Munoz. Maxwell Munoz. Daniel Nail. Cody Natividad.
Leonardo Nuello. Liam O'Connor. Jacob Palmazano. John Pastor the Third. Royce Paul. Merritt Pecoraro. Jared Pellegrin. Matthew Pellman. Eric Perdomo. Miles Perez. Tyler Quinn. Brock Ranlett. Humberto Regalado Hernandez. Vida Reyes the third. John Rink. Jack Robinson. Andres Rodriguez. Dylan Rodriguez. Jacob Rogers. Andrew Romano. Ryan Rouge. Logan Rue. Christopher Russell.
Nate Russell. Gavin Ruth. Gary Sandrock the third. Jacob Schmidt. Joseph Schmidt. Alexander Schumacher. Cooper Schultz. Chase Scott. Jose Selva the third. Cameron Sr. Carson Sheehan. Raphael Scrametta the third. Jalen Spears. John Stewart. Alfred Talabi. Dylan Taylor. Jacob Terrell. Harris Terrio. Mason Torregano. Isaiah Torregano. John Tracy. Hayden Tubbs.
Sam Vallejos. Vance Vokrasan. Tyler Valino. Jeffrey Viasca Jr. Yumez Wahid. Evan Walker. Marshall Weber the fourth. Jay Weigel. Brady Wheeler. Damirian White Jr. Ian White. Eric Wickbolt the third. Blake Williams. Quinn Williams. Hunter Winfrey. Preston Wren. Michael Zapardo. Seniors, please stand.
Before we have our final blessing, I want to thank everybody. Everybody who had something to do with this, especially everybody at home, I want to thank you for these great guys. It's going to be a great year. Very optimistic and very positive about that. But thanks to our administration and all of those who organized this so incredibly, our, our staff, uh, all of those who are just absolutely wonderful. So thank you. We're going to have a great year and be assured of my prayers for each and every one of you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. On behalf of the entire Brother Martin community, I want to extend a special thanks to Father Paul Hart, our alumni choir under the direction of Mr. Kevin Caparata, and all those watching at home. We thank you for your support. <laughs>